Bismillah, salam alaykum wa rahmatullah. Uh, it's important for every student of knowledge building a maktabah, building an Islamic library, to have a section which has kutub al hadith, the books of hadith, the son of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because it's a second source of revelation and also it explains and interprets the Quran. From the first books of hadith which has been authored or compiled is the Al Mawatta of Imam Malik ibn Anas, who, part, who was born in the year 93 Hijri, which is the same year that. Anas ibn Malik, the Sahabi al Jalil, the noble companion who was the Khadim of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who was serving the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, since he was a young age, passed away. Imam Malik himself passed away in the year 179 uh, Hijri. Imam Malik, as is one, is one of the four Imams which are known for the Madahib, the four Imams of Fiqh, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, and Imam Ahmed. And Imam Malik, he was he took eleven years compiling and putting together the Mawatta, and he showed it to over seventy of the ulama, the alims of Medina, and they agreed upon what was in there, and that's when he started teaching it and uh, publishing it. And uh, he mentions in a famous statement that it's not befitting for a person to sit and teach until he's been attested to for his uh, knowledge. So Imam Malik. Uh, in his Al uh, Mawatta, the book is mentioned by Imam Shafi'i. He's from the students of Imam Malik. Imam Shafi'i traveled to study with Imam Malik. Imam Malik used to teach in Masjid al Nabawi, in the Prophet's Masjid by the Rauda. And Imam Malik, he didn't travel. And the reason why is because Medina was considered the markaz or the center of Takhrij al A'imma, of producing scholars and scholarship uh, at that time. Uh, for the Sahaba, the main Sahaba that were given fatawa, most of them stayed in Medina. Uh, and likewise with the Tabi'in and Ba'a Tabi'in, the largest number were in uh, Medina, the city of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. From them, for example, you have Aisha radhiallahu anha, Umar ibn al-Khattab, also you have Ali ibn Abi Talib, uh, who spent most of his time in Medina, only the last few years did he travel. You have Abdullah ibn Umar anhu, who stayed in Medina, and you have other Sahaba that travel, like Abdullah ibn Abbas and Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. They traveled, uh, but yet still you find most of the Sahaba stayed. And Imam Malik, he authored his book, the book Al Mawatta, uh, and it's a compilation of hadith of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as well as athar of the Sahaba and their fatawa. So it's a book which combines between hadith and fiqh at the same time. And they got, it's called Al Mawatta. It's mentioned that it's called Al Mawatta because the Imam Malik he showed it to the ulama, as I mentioned, and they agreed upon agreed upon it, and then he gave it the name Al Mawatta, that which is uh, there's agreement upon, or that's what they agreed upon. And it's meant uh, Al Mawatta of uh, Imam Malik is, as Imam Shafi'i said, the most authentic book after the Book of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And that was obviously before Imam al-Bukhari had authored his book as uh, Imam Malik has a number of famous sayings. Uh, from them is the statement that everybody's statement, everybody's statement can be accepted or rejected except the sahib of this qabr. And he said that while he's in the Prophet's masjid, meaning except the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Also from the famous statements of Imam Malik, he mentions that Junnatul alim la adri fa'idha aghfalaha usibat that the protection, the shield of the alim is saying, I don't know. And if he neglects or is absent minded about this statement, he's going to be afflicted in that which is going to kill him or going to harm him. Showing the importance of a Muslim, a scholar, a person that's in a position of teaching and fatawa to only give fatawa based upon what he has knowledge about and to protect himself and safeguard himself from punishment by using the word la adri, adri saying, I don't. No. So again, from the most important books for the student of knowledge and hadith that he has, essential book that he has in his library, is the Mawatta of Al-Imam Malik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.